What happens to your, or what is the cost of beauty? What do you pay to look so good that what is the cost of it for the people? Um, it's just you kind of learn, you kind of give you high grades then in school because of your art lessons and everything. So you start doing it on Monday. It's like different. It's not the same thing all over again. <laughs> to the children but if they can actually handle relics and artifacts from the time period that you're using it gives them more of a feel of how it would have been to live in those times or be in those times. Mm. Literacy is a, a, a natural link, mm. um, using objects to just tell a story, mm. um, setting maybe a scenario and an object and say you know write something about it, pretend you're that person using that object there's all sorts of things you can do with literacy. But that's sort of a, that's a natural progression. But they can be used for science, and they can be used for D and T and for art. I mean, you can just go on and on. Really. Develops their thinking skills because if you give them objects and no information, they've suddenly got to bring all sorts of thinking skills into play. They can't just say, "Oh, it's black," or "Oh, it's made of metal." They've got to think about, "Well, what would it have been used for? How has it been made?" Why was it made? So, sort of those upper level thinking skills come in immediately. Yeah. This sort of thing just makes, means you can bring a museum into the school, which you know, is fantastic. Lots of children never ever go to museums. Amazing. Lincolnshire life, give it credit and 
it would be precious, you know, the collection, which is in the New Museum, and it's next to the Usher Gallery in Lincoln. And it's from there that these boxes are being made up and somebody in charge of revamping all the project boxes. They've got these, the, the stuff is for the project boxes are taken from the collections of the museums, but they have similar artefacts out on display as well. Today is called Dress Code to Z. It's a project working with um, about 18 young people, from an Asian or Afro Caribbean background, and the project's going to investigate their heritage and um, looking at textiles, and then they're going to um, create their own piece of, of costume, so inspired by the um, heritage and the items we have here at the museum. <laughs> handling in all the sessions and maybe some kind of games to play or role play or place to do. They, they, it's a very interactive learning process. They get something educational out of the visits and that they learn something new and really the education has to be at the backbone of museum work. I'm a learning support worker and I generally work with um, visually impaired young people in the school. What, what have you got out of the project so far? Well, I think it's been excellent for the young people yeah. because they've been able to express themselves and it is entirely their own ideas yeah. and also it's, it, it's made all of our children be completely involved with yeah. the project, which has been really good.